Supervisors gathered at the Ministry of Education today, continuing to plead with authorities to pay travel allowances owed to them. They attempted to submit a grievance letter on the issue, but the group's tutor representative told TTT News they were first met with what he described as blatant disrespect. Cameraman Ricky Goku covered the protest, and Janine Brown brings the story. Mounting frustration by school supervisors as travel allowances owed to them have not been paid in as much as two years. Industrial Relations Officer of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, Justin De Freitas, spoke on behalf of the workers, telling TTT News that the situation has become unbearable. The school supervisors are reporting to their place of work and they are not traveling because they cannot afford any more. Their upset was further compounded when they attempted to enter the building to drop off the letter, but were denied entry. Apart from pressuring the supervisors to work without getting traveling allowance, they have come to, to deliver a letter to their immediate supervisor, who then, well, somebody then decided that the security must stop them from entering the building. All right? Um, this is disregard and disrespect to this these professionals. Eventually, Mr. De Freitas, along with one other member, was allowed inside to submit the document. Apart from the issue of no travel allowance being paid, Mr. De Freitas said that the supervisors remain without a salary increase for the period of 2011 to 2014, even as teachers have been granted an increase. So right now, a school supervisor, one, may be getting paid less than a principal primary school. A school supervisor, three, may be getting paid less than a uh, a principal in secondary school and they are the supervisors of those people. They're hoping the matter can be resolved over the next 10 days and caution that if this does not happen, their next step will be to go to the chief personal officer. Janine Brown, TDT News. TDT News contacted the Education Minister Anthony Garcia for a response to Monday morning's protest by school supervisors. Minister Garcia said he was not at the office at the time of the protest but gave the assurance he would look into the matter. I was not in office at the time because I was at the highest agency attending a function that had a foundation in the Lavender Mover Improvement Plan. Mm -hmm. I need to get in contact with our Director of Accounts and Finance to find out what is the reason for the delay.